Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob Balasabas. Today I'm going to answer a really, really good question here that I received uh, from uh, one of our uh, viewers um, in the comments here on one of my StreamYard videos. Uh, and here is the question right here. I'm going to actually uh, sort of uh, circle it here. This is a question from Miss Lady Godharg uh, 813. Uh, the question is, in what instance would you choose the option allow guests uh, can stream this on their own destinations? Can you further explain this option? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so this is a uh, uh, question from this video right here, which is a StreamYard complete tutorial. If you want to watch it, uh, I'll try to make sure that there's a link in description or somewhere up here. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a really good question. What is the guests can stream this on their own destination so let me share my StreamYard account which is right here um, and so what uh, uh, one of our community members uh, miss lady for god harg 813 is uh, asking about is this feature right here so this is the StreamYard dashboard once you log in again if you do not have a StreamYard account yet there is a link in the description so that you can set up a free trial make sure you pause the video if you don't have an account yet go set up your account and come back here all right so you can follow along uh, this tutorial all right um, and so if you go into the studio which I will so right here you can see that I have one of my test recording rooms right here uh, okay, so you see that and there is a enter studio button right here. I'm gonna go there and What's gonna happen now is it's gonna load. Okay, perfect I'm gonna turn this off where I want you to go is where uh, is called settings right here. Okay, can't miss it settings go into settings and if you go to uh, settings and if you go to guests right here, okay, you see it following along the red marker Okay, I'm gonna click on guests and we see this option right here okay we're going to zoom in so we can see it and it's this one right here guests can stream this on their own destination so what does this mean okay we're going to zoom out and we're going to read actually oops we're going to go in there we're going to read this so this is a really good way there it is it is a great way to get more viewers each guest may add up to two destinations so that means uh facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn or uh, Twitch or an RTMP, uh, whatever you whatever whatever they like, um, and each stream allows up to six guest destinations in total. So, uh, if you had three guests, they can each add up to two destinations each. So each of your guests can also stream uh, your live stream to their Facebook page and their YouTube channel or Instagram and their YouTube channel, right? Total of six. If you had five guests, then you can only have uh, six guest destinations. Let me know if that makes sense, if that's being clear. If not, let me know in the comments. We can answer that further for you, okay? Um, and uh, the guest must log in to their, to add their destinations. Now, these do, don't count towards your multi-streaming limit. You can still yourself uh, stream up to six, eight destinations. So you yourself, for me, for example, if I'm the host, I can stream to eight destinations. And then if I had guests, uh, let's say I had three guests, each of them had two destinations each of their own channels that they're streaming to, then that is a total of 14 destinations and so your one live stream that's happening on you're using it on use uh on on StreamYard can go to your eight channels right instagram linkedin facebook page facebook group uh you know uh youtube uh you know your personal youtube your company youtube that's six uh, and two more right um that's already eight and then your guests if you had uh, you know, let's say uh, six, uh, two, three guests, each of them had two destinations as well, then that's 14 channels. So you're reaching so many people, your live stream has so much reach. And that essentially is what that is. Now, the question here from our friend here in the community from Miss Lady 4, Godharg813, I love the name, would love to know the, the, the story behind that name. She's wondering what instance would you choose the option to allow this so that's a privacy question that is really up to you if you are okay with your guests also streaming this live stream 
to their channels, then you then say, yes, you want to check this box off right here and allow them to do that, right? If you want to reach as many people. Now, if you want it to be very exclusive, you just want this live stream to be on your channels. You don't want it on your guests' channels. Then you don't allow them to do that. Okay, that's really the short answer to this. Um, and so hopefully that helps you with that question. Again, shout out to our community member here, Miss Lady for God Hargate 13. Thank you so much for your question. Uh, now, if you have any other questions around StreamYard, around guest destinations, around destinations, around anything like that, by all means, leave them in the comments. That's what I am here for. I love StreamYard. Um, I just really do. I love using the tool. Uh, it's a great tool for me, for my business. And so I hope that uh, you get the most out of it as well. All right. So again, my name is Rob Balasabas. Thanks for watching. And uh, click one of these other videos. There's more tutorials here about, about StreamYard um, on my channel. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.